Hello and welcome to a new game. It's, well, 7 Billion Humans by Tomorrow Corporation. It's kind of a sequel to Human Resource Machine, which I played in 2015? I have no idea. 16? Let me check, actually. I should have checked this before. I always do that. I really, really like the soundtrack, even though it's just this one song so far. It's great. So, Human Resource Machine, when was that? Uh, it doesn't... Why does it not give me a date there? It really should. 2016. Okay. Uh, this is 7 billion humans, so not human resource machine. Uh, this came out last August, and I actually bought it very shortly after its release, and then I didn't play it for almost half a year. Because I was busy. I don't know. I don't have good reason. Am I talking loudly? I don't know. I might. <laughs> I've already turned down the sound a lot, but let's see. I hope this is fine. I hope you can hear me. Uh, what do I look like? I think last time we looked like this. Maybe? There are not that many different ones, are there? Yeah, it looks just like me. Proceed to the elevator, sure. That already looks a lot like human resource machine. How many levers are there? There are a lot of levers. <laughs> so if you've never seen my human resource machine playthrough or anyone else's really, um, this is like a visual coding type game. Maybe not visual, but it's like a drag and drop sort of. Well, you'll see, but it's a coding game and I really liked human resource machine. Still one of my favorite games in that like sort of niche category of weird Cody type games I really like this electronic stuff too don't get me wrong but this has a certain charm that I, I just I find very appealing uh, and I think most of that is like the art style and the music and all of that um, so yeah I'm hired let's talk to the boss I assume Hey, you! Mm -hmm. Are you a hard-working farmer? Mm -hmm. Let machines do that for you. <laughs> are you a hard-working coal miner, truck driver, or coffee shop employee? Let machines do that for you. Uh, well, actually... <laughs> mm, tastes like progress. But aren't there any good jobs left for hard-working families like us? You'll never need to work again. Machines have provided unlimited free energy. Unlimited fast, clean transportation. Unlimited free, nutritious food. Mm, you're completely free to do whatever you want. A marvelous modern utopia. But we want good paying jobs. Jobs, jobs, jobs. Okay, creating jobs. You want jobs? You will have jobs. They will be the best jobs. Huge. Believe me, you have never seen so many jobs. Where can we get these jobs? Just show up on Monday. Uh. The machines have created enough jobs for every single person on the planet and the whole family to enjoy. I have a PhD in medieval French literature. Even the most useless skills can be put to work in the new office building visible from space. Congratulations, all seven billion humans on the planet. You're hired. Very nice. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. Or did I say two years ago? I'm not sure if I ever said two years ago. In my brain, I was like, 2016, that was two years ago, three years ago. I don't know if I ever said two out loud. But if I did, it's wrong. It's 2019, it's three years ago. It's crazy. Crazy, I tell you. Whew. All right, I assume we, we're gonna learn how to code here again. Welcome new employees, that's us. 
You're late. Everyone is already here. They're just standing, blinking, waiting for your instructions. This isn't about just you anymore. You're a boss of all these workers. They will do whatever you say. Let's see how fit this workforce is. Please just have everyone pick up their individual green data cube and drop it again. Let's see those little arms put to good use. Yes, there's nothing like an early success to inspire confidence. Tell your workers to step down one tile, pick up their green data cube and drop it again. An excellent workout. Alright, so I guess we do step down. Oh, very nice. Uh, pick up, drop. And so they all execute the same code? They do. Yes, stunning work everyone. These workers are clearly experts at picking up and putting stuff down again. We did it. Excellent work, your presence is requ requested on the next floor. Sure, up the elevator. We're not taking stairs. We're important, we're management. We're taking the elevator. Transport squad. Hey you guys up there, that line of data cubes is too far away to read. Please tell the workers to move the entire line of data cubes down by two da tiles. Just sit it right there between those nice potted plants so we can see it a little easier. These glasses aren't just for looking handsome, you know? Alright, so we step down, pick up, step down twice. I mean our code is very limited here so we can't really do anything fancy. That's more like it. Like icons on a desktop, deliberate positioning is everything. That is true. Next floor. Long distance delivery. I just read a book on mindfulness meditation. That's a good, good, good topic to read about. So important. It is. I should meditate. I've always wanted to start meditating, but... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, never actually done it. I'll let you borrow it later. I would like to completely clear my mind and also the room. All data cubes and workers must be <laughs> cleared away so I can concentrate. Workers, please pick up the data cube next to you and just keep walking until you exit the room through one of those convenient holes over on the right side. Was at the bottom of those infinite holes? Yes, that is a very good question to think about while meditating. You got a new command. Jump. Now your workers will not actually... No, your workers will not actually jump into the air. This is not one of those games. Here, this will tell you all. Here, this will tell you all about it. Yeah, jump. Use this command to jump to different lines in your list of commands. You might use this to repeat sections of your program, so you do not need to write the same command over and over. So we pick up, and then we step, and then we. I did. It's like that, right? I did. Oh, but no, I didn't, because we're going to the right this time, and I want to jump. And that's it. Is this a labor? Oh, I can drag it here to learn more. Sure, okay. Hello again. Can we just... I think in the first game, in Human Resource Machine, there was a, an achievement for talking to these guys again. But I, I don't care about achievements right now, I think. Oh, I need to... I, okay, I looked at it wrong. I thought it was already... <laughs> but I need to be on the tile, of course. There we go. I am an ocean. I am an autumn forest. I am a sunset. I am... hungry. <laughs> Anyone want to get lunch? Anyone? Yeah, they all left. <laughs> Alright, up to the next floor. Important decision. Let's see how important this decision really is. Let's all ask ourselves a little question. Would you prefer an instant shrieking splattering doom or going to a really fun office birthday party? I I think I would I would choose instant doom. Well, now you have a new command to help you decide. Everybody, let's all take a look to our left and to our right. On one side, you have a nice data cube illuminating the way 
toward the office party. On the other side, you have Eternal Doom. Use your new if command to locate which side has the data cube and continue walking in that direction until you fall in a nice safe hole. <laughs> I will take you to the office party. Choose wisely. I'll see you there. Okay. So how does if work? Use this command to run certain commands in some cases, and other commands in other cases. You can add extra conditions by clicking the three dots once the if the ellipses once the if command is placed in your program. So how are you, how are we how are we approaching this? We could just like if you step right. And then if where I am at, there is a cube, then you should pick it up. And step to the right. And if not, you should step So if you step right and there's no data cube there, I want you to step to the left. Twice basically. Do I wanna jump for that? No. I could do another jump another if. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need to. Pick up and then keep stepping to the left. Is this gonna work like that? Sure is. Yes, congratulations this way. Well, this was truly a feat of engineering. I'm not feeling like attending the party, but you guys have fun. Very good. I wonder if we'll get optimizations unlocked. I think that took a while last time too in Human Resource Machine. Little Exterminator 1. I'm learning programming. In fact, I already solved this assignment for you. Well, sort of. The worker is supposed to go pick up that cube down below without falling in the horse, but something's wrong, so I'll allow you to fix it for me. Let's watch what happens together. You'll need to change or add only one single command, but you're welcome to change more if you like. <laughs> That's a very nice comment there. Can I drag that? No. Um, before you edit the program, use this button to step through one line at a time. Do I have to? I have to. Okay, so the first stuff is hard code. It's step down, step down, step left, step left, step down, step down, and then it starts uh, the thing. It steps right, and if to the right is nothing, then step to the right. I guess nothing means no wall floor i don't know how the conditions work yet exactly i didn't look at the list last time because nothing could also be implied as a whore but no What we should be doing is we should check if down is something. Or if down is a hole, then step to the right. Maybe? Yeah. Very good. 
Uh, collation station, sure. This place is a mess. The engineers left data all over the floor. Those people have no appreciation appreciation for style or art. Okay, let's pick up all the data cubes and organize them into a nice line along the bottom row. Right between those useful arrows. But watch out for that infinite horror. What? How can you know where data cubes are? Or where infinite horrors are? Well, it says here, remember your if command will illuminate the world around you. People say the world around me is a haze of confusion. So basically you want to step down and if I'm on the field that has the cube, I want to pick it up. And if not, I want to jump. Or if not, I want to jump. And then I also want another if, I guess. Because if what is below me is lower, I want to drop. Is that going to work like that? <laughs> I step and I check if it's a cube and if it is a pickup. And if it's not a cube, I check if it's a horror. If it's a horror drop. And I guess I can. That's 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 nice, I guess. Um, the thing is, I'm always gonna. I, I'll keep. I'll keep going. I'll just drop it. I'll, I'll jump and then still step. I could just do another jump, maybe. Because then it's just gonna stop looping, right? If I jump out here. It's not very elegant, I think. But it works. I could have probably done this better way. I could have checked if there is floor and if there is then step and if there isn't I don't know it doesn't really matter to me right now war now we're living dangerously really on the edge haha <laughs> intro to more more our offices sure what do we need congratulations you're doing great I cannot believe how great you're doing as your employee the rel officers we are here to offer occasional tips on how to keep your workers feeling delighted. For example... Come on up, Jeff. We find that workers appreciate an occasional confirmation of a job well done. You might say, congratulations, you're doing great. Followed by a gentle but firm pat on the rear. That a boy, Jeff. <laughs> when I was his age, I was a refrigerator. Good work, everyone. You know how many salads wilted inside me? With enough teamwork and engineering, even a kitchen appliance can become a mid-level office manager. We're not just building data solutions. We're, We're building, building a, a family. family. <laughs> of course we are. <laughs> ah, all right, we have more time. Dynamic angers, sure. Wow, that was a good cup of coffee. Oh man, <laughs> a cup of coffee would be great right now. Who wants to do something crazy? See that nice steady straight horizontal line of data cubes? Let's be wild and turn it into a diagonal line. Ah, this is really good. Leave that first data cube where it is and make that line descend like a staircase. Aha. It is braided at a 45 degree angle. Who ever heard of such a thing? So first, I assume, is this one? Yeah, because it doesn't have a work above it. Thanks for clarifying. <laughs> uh, from this point on, we will provide optional size and speed challenges. You can always ask the boss for more information. They are often very difficult, so let's not stress out too much about them. Well, we'll stress out however much we want about them. Uh, so how do we do this? We step down, 
And I guess we pick up. Let's all of them do that. And then I guess we check if... If to the left there is... I don't know how something works. I don't know what blue and red is in that. That green is the is the cube, so that's blue and red. Like is a worker or something? Who knows? I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm like dancing in my seat. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh what are we doing here? So if there's... If there's a data cube to my left... Then I want to step and then drop. And otherwise, if there isn't one, I just want to step. Hmm. Hmm. Seems fine. <laughs> I did it. Oh no. What have we done? Solution completes in five seconds on average. Very good. We're one second below our target, uh, but we are three commands over, so we should try to optimize this right now. Uh, what can I get rid of? Well, I can very easily just do this for example that should still work right yeah but it's still too many commands we need to get rid of two more That's a lot of them to get rid of. I assume I can't just run pick up. Wait, I can... I can pick up ahead of me? That's pretty crazy. I didn't notice that before. We're still not there. <laughs> We're closer again. Can I just do this? I think I can, right? Yeah. Okay. I have to get into the swing of optimizing. <laughs> Yay! Yay! There we go. Do we go back and optimize now? Yeah, sure, let's go back and optimize for the end of the episode. Uh, uh, what's the optimization on this one? Let's just run it and see. Five, five of your commands, that's, that's a lot. Yeah. Oh, but I don't have the better pickup yet. It's the pickup that can target, apparently. I, I guess I only get that up there. I thought I would just use that to optimize, but I can't. 
Wait, how many commands? Five? We're way over. <laughs> Five of you are. I mean, I don't know how to do it in five, really. I could check if to the right of me is a cube, and if there is, then step right, and then pick up. But I would have to step right a lot, and that's annoying, because that's already three commands. How do I make this so small? Why is this hard? <laughs> uh... Because I can't just loop over the entire thing, either. I mean, I can do something like this. No, or outside. If there's a data cube there to right, go right, otherwise go left and pick up. But then I have the data cube in my hand and I can't check anymore. So I can't just loop over this in some weird way. Um, so how do I separate the two? It's an interesting problem to have. I mean, this, this works, right? I can do it like this. Oh, they, but they are step left, right? It has to be an else, actually. But that's already five commands, and I'm not doing anything yet. And they all have, like, void up and down. I can't really look at that with an if. I can't really make an if that checks if there's a like void on that side and then go the other way because then I will probably also check for the hole and I want to fall in that. Why is this so complicated? <laughs> it feels like it should be an easy one to optimize, but it's really not. How did we do it here? We checked and then just had this whole thing, yeah. Well, yeah, it needs to be like this, right, right. So if we check if... There's a cube, and if there is a cube on the right, then we, we step right. That's so many commands. Because I need two pickups like that, and that's, that's too many. Because then it would be an else, step left. But that's four commands, <laughs> that's four lines already. How do I get this down? Because I would also definitely need to loop it. But 
But that's basically what we did before. It's very slow now, but that's that's by design. So what I did learn is that I can do one pickup for all of it. two commands. <laughs> How is it actually so much faster? Oh, I don't need to pick up the cube at all. Each worker has a cube either of the left or right side. Walk for, towards the cube and continue walking that direction. <laughs> ah, reading. Reading is key. pick up at all. There we go. Yeah, I should read. It just seemed makes just makes sense to pick them up too. Ah, <laughs> oh, gotta figure that one out. Uh, this one is obviously bad because we haven't really looked at it at all. Um, I should just run it once. Because I want to see what the optimizations are. Okay, nine or fewer. Four seconds, okay. I mean, just hard coding it is not going to be good because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve steps. Do a bunch of ifs, but I don't know if that's any good either. We could check if, like, if down is floor, then step down. And then else. If left is floor, step left. I guess you could jump up there again. But now it's just stopping here, of course. But here, yeah, we can't check if right is floor because we'll walk to here and then we'll be stuck there. Where will we? What will happen if you also have one? No, you can't do it like this. It has to be an else. But it, yeah, that doesn't work.
Because now, yeah, we step left and right. That one's interesting. How are we going to do this one? So it would step down, down is on the horse, so it would jump, step down, now down is the horse, so it would step left. Down is the horse, it would step left. But yeah, that's always gonna get stuck somewhere. Well, definitely, okay, yeah, that makes sense too. <laughs> we would step left and then step down. Because it always steps down. interesting. I don't know how to do this one. <laughs> Either it's like weird. Now we have down as a whore and left as a whore, so I'll step right, but then that stops again and I'll step left. So I'm just stuck in this weird endless loop there. Because I can't use any like conditions like these, unfortunately. And then it's always gonna check if it's if down's a whore and then it's gonna step left again. It would, it would have to be like a, another if or something. We'll check if down is a floor. And then it would jump out. But that's so many commands. Does it even work now? I don't know. I don't think it does. No, it's still I'm still doing the loop, right? Like this is almost does something. <laughs> Not quite. I 
Actually, no, wait, that's weird, right? The steps right. Down is not nothing. Oh, and then steps left though, because I'm in that in that seam if still right. Because I thought, I would, yeah, but I'm not getting out here. To start over and then check if down is the floor and then step down. And I still wouldn't do a pickup then either, so. That's an interesting one. Episode is going long. Let's end it here. We'll optimize some more, maybe in the next one. Or maybe we'll come back to it at some, some other time. So it's back to the elevator it is. Yeah. So much stuff left to do. I'm happy. This is a good game. I'm enjoying it. Hope you are too. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.